Hello, my name is Richard and I have been diagnosed since 2017 with multiple sclerosis. Uh, so MS is um, it's a neurological disease. Um, it affects the central nervous system and the spine. Uh, and it is where your immune system reverses so that it no longer works for you, but it works against you. And this is an ongoing thing forever. So I will have more brain damage and more spine damage until it gets very severe, which will be the primary progressive stage. Yeah, so that was in 2017. I took my daughter to a, a national puddle jumping championship. When I was there, my this part of my face started to do a little slight twitch, very subtle. People couldn't really see it very well, but I could feel it. That then developed into there and there and there to the point where this side of the face, my right side of my face, was tremoring all the time. I went to Germany, went to Germany with my brother. On the flight back, as we were landing, I got the worst intense pain in my face, down this side. And my face kind of dropped a bit, almost like a stroke. Um, this got worse, to the point where I was having electrical attacks, electric shocks in my eyeballs, in my teeth. I couldn't sleep, didn't know what was wrong. My speech was slurred. Uh, I was going to the hospital, four o'clock in the morning, before work, MRI uh, on the brain. And they called me in and said, you have MS, multiple sclerosis. Just after being diagnosed, it started to affect my legs. Um, there was a time when I couldn't lift my neck off the ground or from a lying position. Also, I couldn't walk very far it would take me at the time about an hour and that is only 10 minutes walk I went through about six months of not being able to do anything and it felt like is this what life is now because if it is there's no point because this isn't living effectively this isn't living so I had trouble with staying at work. This was all in the first two months of having it. It was a real time of thinking, this, I don't want this anymore. Um, this is this is too difficult of a, of a time, a life sort of thing. Things got a little bit better, enough where I could lift my neck, which I can now, but I can still feel the force of the brain damage feeling like my head is pushing down on my spine all the time like as if you were sitting and somebody's on the top of your head and pushing you down i still have the pain down this side of the face which makes me tired all the time plus with deficiencies and plus with chronic fatigue but back then it was a case of i couldn't even move it was just basically existing uh, that was a really difficult time because I didn't know what I could do for my daughter from this point on. Um, could I still be the same person to her? She was still young. Am I going to just be this? You want to know this is how it feels. <laughs> this is how MS feels. <laughs> difficult to cope with men mentally. It's very, very difficult. So with that, I just I cope with that by telling myself that my main focus in life is my daughter and my job is to make sure she grows up and is happy successful in a way that she wants to be successful not in a way that i would like her to be successful and then when she has children i've put i've helped put her in a position where she can be just as good to her children and when generations go on, hopefully I have did something to make that better. That's the way I have to think. Rather than think what will happen in a year or a week or in 10 years, I have to think you've just got to give everything 
to do the right thing for your daughter and make sure she's okay so that when I'm not, I've done enough.